all right so pistons fans i was made i was thinking about making this video and i decided to make it because i was having conversations with a few people in a conversation about blake griffin and um, i made a video recently saying blake griffin has to go and basically i was saying that i'm 50 50 um, on blake griffin staying and him us getting rid of him and some people in the comment section were saying that a possibility that they wanted to see play it out is blake griffin coming off the bench and for me it's just it was one of those moments where i really slapped my face like i was so dumbfounded like maybe it's just me okay maybe it's just me but blake griffin does not seem like the type of dude who is gonna be willingly coming off the bench okay some people in the comment section were saying he's not a star anymore i believe he still is a star but even if you want to say he's not a star anymore he still is one of those dudes who's a star caliber player. He's still gonna pay that max money and he's still gonna be, he's gonna get a lot of all-star votes this year, okay? He is a star caliber player. So when you have a guy who's star caliber player, they are entitled to things, okay? They're entitled to being, they're being, you know, a little, a few minutes late to practice or they're entitled to getting minutes in the game and getting paid a lot of money. And Blake Griffin, he's one of these guys who's gonna be entitled to minutes. I do not see any possibility. And I mean any possibility of Blake Griffin coming off the bench. There's just no way. If, if we put, if Dwayne Casey puts him on the bench, there will be absolute anarchy and turmoil in the locker room. There will, Blake Griffin will anger other players. Um, uh, what's his name? Sekou and him are probably going to clash. Him and Jeremy Grant are probably going to clash. It's just, I don't see any way possible how if we put him on the bench, this goes positively for anyone. Now, if we're talking about how the, how the Pistons are going to play on the floor without Blake Griffin, now you do have a point there. Because without Blake Griffin on the floor, we actually play well together. I mean, we play well without him. Because what happens is when Blake Griffin does play, we give him the ball in the post. And everybody else just sits in the corner while he bats down in the post. He waits the shot clock and then he does the um, the fadeaway jumpers. And he either makes it or misses it. Or he just um, dribbles the basketball and attacks the hole. So without him, the ball movement is much more fluent. Much more pick and roll, off ball screen action. And it's just a way, way more fluent basketball game when we don't have Blake Griffin. So if you are talking about him being off the floor, you have a point there, but still, we can't just ignore the fact that he's a human and he's gonna be upset with coming off the bench. He's a star, a diva, if you feel, if you wanna call him that. Um, and, and guys, he, he was a member of the Los Angeles Clippers, okay? He lived that LA lifestyle. We know what the LA lifestyle is. It's fake, it's phony, it's the glitz and glamor, not working hard, the entitlement stuff. That's what he is. He spent, he wanted to spend his whole career on the Clippers in Los Angeles. He has that stuff. Now, I still do respect Blake Griffin, especially um, what he did with the Milwaukee Bucks. Got a lot of respect for me, but he is still one of those LA Hollywood guys. So, guys, I'm just saying there is no way in my mind I see him willingly coming off the bench. I don't see how if you put him on the bench, Sekou is going to be angry. Jeremy Grant is going to be angry because they're all going to clash. They're all going to clash. It's Dwayne Casey. Um, they, they always say that the, the, main, the main jobs for coaches in the NBA, they're supposed to manage the, um, what do you call them, egos in the locker room. That's their biggest, toughest job. Do you think if, if Blake Griffin is alienated and angry, do you believe that Dwayne Casey is going to be able to to, to keep the egos in the locker room safe? No. Keep To keep us in a healthy environment? No. Look at our record right now. Our record isn't good right now. Now, if you throw, if, if you throw on an angry Blake Griffin with a bad record, that's just going to make things even worse. All right? We're already one of the bottom teams in the Eastern Conference. This just, ah, this is so frustrating. I, I just can't believe that people want to put Blake on the bench and think that's going to do, that's going to help anything. That's even going to lower his trade value because he's going to get less touches coming off the bench and less minutes coming off the bench. So just guys, all in all, I'm against Blake Griffin coming off the bench because I just feel like that does way more harm than it will do good. Just, I say right now at the moment, let's just ride it out. Let's keep him in a starting lineup. Let's just hope that he can rise his, his, his trade value and get it back up there so that eventually we can move him for anything. I don't care if we have to move him for a second round pick or a, 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 a below average NBA player. You know, let's just hope that we can get his trade value up there and keep him happy so he doesn't upset any other players in the locker room and we don't have any turmoil like that. So, this is fans. I do want to hear from you on the comment section. I do want to know how y'all feel about this topic. I just gave y'all my feelings and everything and how I feel about this topic. So, Pistons fans, let me know how y'all feel in the comment section below. Like this video, comment on this video, share this video. Thank y'all for 1K. I'm out.